So, I mean, I'm Sam. Uh, <laughs> I'm the editor of Dwell. Um, and I'm also a student and I study English literature at King's. <clears throat> I'm Simon. I'm also a student. I'm the business. Really? Oh, oh, try that again. Like the whole I'm... time it's been perfect until that <laughs> No, so I work on <laughs> more on the business side of, of Dwell with the spreadsheets and and the numbers so, and the finances. So yeah, I'm also a student in digital business strategy in Paris. Yeah, and I work for the London Diocese as well. Um, so I'm Jack, I'm a uh, full-time designer in East London, Stratford. Um, goodness me, I'm getting all the messages through now. <laughs> And I work for a company called Outfly. Yeah, and you're more than that. You're our whole creative director, Jack. You know, you you drive the creative identity of Dwell. Um, That's it, yeah, hopefully. And um, it all started um, when one evening Simon and I, um, we met up, uh, we went to the pub, we had a drink, we had a chat, um, and we just started talking about how, um, well, I was sharing about my passion for, like, media and for print media and just for the way that it can um, bring people together and commun form communities um, and Simon jumped upon this idea and just was like just as interested and he realized that this has been something he was really interested in too um, and so kind of Simon started bringing to the table um, as he always does kind of like more business strategy and more ways of actually making it happen behind just these ideas that we had. I found it again in my calendar it was I think it was the 5th of December 2019 so we've mm -hmm. actually got like an anniversary date we met the next Saturday and Jack you were in the kitchen when we were talking about it um gosh I mean yeah I think uh I just like kind of came halfway in a conversation that you guys were having and uh, um some kind of brainstorm was happening <laughs> I was just probably helping myself to uh I don't know a glass of milk or something um and then yeah it caught, caught my attention really because uh as you said yeah I've always been interested in um uh, doing a print project um, I had done previously before a few times uh, but nothing that was just like a personal uh, kind of little project so I kind of like started to chuck ideas around basically with you guys but we realized that we all had the same um, goal we all wanted to see it do the same thing which was um, allow people to share their stories and to um, express themselves in creative ways and to provide a platform that for that because we were like we you know and um, from our experiences realized it's actually often quite hard um, as a Christian and creative person to, to have a platform to share that but we also wanted it to be um, a platform that was quite localized and it was um, a focusing on community and that would allow like you know real interactions between these different people and um, to connect other churches and other Christians who perhaps wouldn't normally interact with each other um cross denominations um and just to yeah to, to really kind of um unite people around like their love of jesus um and allow people to share their stories really i still love the pause belong express yeah and i think we <clears throat> the belong and the express are like um really what what we we're gonna head with with the 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 actual company New York studio but um the pause I think was also really nice for dwell where it was just that's where you just sit down to to belong mm. and to to express as well and it's yeah. so good to have that just have an area as well where you can you can just talk about you you're all on, on equal footing just expressing yourself yeah um mm. and it's just so lovely reading through dwell now having all these different views and different different um um testimonies and life experiences just one after the other it's just so colorful it's really really nice you know often sometimes what they hear might be able to help the situation this person's in because often we're sometimes in a similar situation for someone else not the same but similar and we can learn from their experience um, and we can you know identify with that um, and it also sometimes challenges us to think about things in different ways as well what would be like one mm. of your key things that you've learned over this like year from from doing a project like this the the huge learning curve for me was um i think to sum it up collaboration i think it was a huge huge thing um that i was always quite shy of previously to this project um you know I, because of my, my personality and my, my nature it was all kind of i wanted um as much control over everything as i could it, it was that perfectionist in me and i think 
it was quite early on in the project. In fact, even, maybe even before the project that I knew actually I needed to let go of this and actually collaboration, as I heard like in quite a lot of um, other people, what they would say and what they would recommend is, is just collaboration is so important. Mm -hmm. And I think quite quickly, I learned that, you know, um, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Like Sam, you, you would, you would do things that I would never be able to do. And Simon, likewise, you would, you would see things and do things that I would never be able to do. And I think that also gets at the heart of what we wanted to do through um, like other projects and stuff with our Newark Studio um, initiative that we like launched with our autumn issue very, very recently. And um, we like want to just take this whole, all this like amazing experience we've had from collaborating with people. And we want to offer that out to other people and say, um, we'd love to collaborate with you or, you know, we'd love to try and connect you with others who you can collaborate with. Um, and that when mm. together you can create so much something so much better than you could on your own. Um, and yeah, that's definitely something that I think, as Jack was saying, that we would definitely recommend doing if you wanted to create a project is get as many people involved as possible, really. It sounds cliche, but it's get, get going, get, actually do it. Make sure that you're, you're, it's actually becoming reality. I feel like it's been that, is to not be afraid of how, even though it's just an idea in the beginning, how, um, uh, how wonderful it could be when it's when it's a reality and so it's, it's trying to get it become a reality as um as fast as you can so that you don't lose the, the momentum the idea of prayer and just keeping god involved and relevant into like everything that we're doing and we like the phrase of like collaborating with the holy spirit because we like to think that the holy spirit is kind of like the fourth member of our key team and he's like the fourth member in any um, project that we do he, we're always collaborating with the holy spirit who's got endless wisdom endless advice and endless inspiration for if, if you're out there and you'd love to create something similar um we'd love we'd love to hear about it we'd love to give you some advice to help you out at all just get in contact with us yeah link up to our instagram page for uh, anyone's got any great ideas for creative projects